Hello, my name's Jake from Firestorm Games, and we're here today with another Tabletop Spotlight. So today we're looking at 50 clues, specifically the Pendulum of the Dead. So this is a card game, Deduction. It's got puzzles, and it's got a horror aspect to it. It's been described by some people as an Unlock After Dark, and I think that's actually quite fair. So if you're not familiar with Unlock, maybe check out our video on those, because they are ace. They're really good. So as this is a game you play through and you learn the story, we're not going to show you tons of the cards, but there is a demo scenario which we will flick through on camera and show you bits, so as not to ruin the main main stories, but the demo scenario was brilliant. It got us into it really, really easily. At its core, you are going to be playing through a story with cards in front of you, with puzzles to solve, so you can progress the next stages of the story. An app, which is free to download, will be used to input data from the different cards and tell you whether you've reached the correct solution and what card you get next. There is a serial code in each box which gives you 30 uses. It doesn't sound like a lot, but it is. It's tons. Like we, we played this first scenario and we beat it in one afternoon's play, so 30 plays is absolutely tons. Mechanically, this is very sound. I really like it. You've got black numbers and you've got red numbers. So black numbers are ones you can investigate. Generally, when you put them into the app, it will tell you to do something. Like you have searched through somebody's pockets and now you've got access to their mobile phone, uh, their keys and their identification. Red numbers you combine. Because they're all red, you can try and combine lots of different things, and the app doesn't feel punishing. I love unlock, but that eh noise when you make an error, uh, that, that, I, I, I have nightmares with that noise in it. You follow the plot. Most of the puzzles I say are very sensible. You can't get it 100% right. You, no developer can, so some people think everybody thinks in different ways. So for some people, a puzzle is very obvious and very straightforward. Other people, that's a bit esoteric or, or things like that, so... On the whole, really liked it. The hint system that's available on the app, spot on. If you do get stuck, it gives you sensible hints until eventually if you need the solution, it will give it to you. But the hints were, I would say, every time we use them, more than what we needed. Like, yep, brilliant, that's cool, we were missing a part or we weren't looking at that in the right way. So my thoughts. I'm going to be honest, I did not get on with this game. Okay, I love Unlock and I am probably a bit soft because I like my games quite fluffy and, and, and thematic and, and quite nice. And this horror aspect, I'm not afraid of horror, but I thought maybe X-Files, which that was explained to me is not only old now, but also still quite softcore as far as horror goes. So I wasn't quite prepared for how dark this was. Now, I'm not saying this isn't for people. If this is your bag and you love this game, great, please share it around other people you think will love it, because it is different to anything else on the market and it scratches an itch for you. Share it with other people that you think would enjoy it. But for me, it was too dark. Some of the things in here didn't enjoy. We nearly stopped twice during this first scenario. That being said, I want to hate this game and I don't. I can't quite do it because every time I go, never again, not going to recommend it to somebody, I've then got that voice in the back of my head going, but you don't know how the story finishes. We finished part one, but there's two more parts. And part one was a complete story, but it did open up some doors at the very end. I went, ah, I do want to know. So we now have that debate. Do we buy the next one? What if it's even more horrible? What if we don't enjoy it? Well, we did enjoy it. We just didn't enjoy a couple of bits. And it goes round and round my noodle. I haven't got an answer for you. I think the answer is, if this is your bag, I hope you love it, play it, enjoy it, play through all three. If it sounds interesting to you, you've played Unlock and it's a bit a bit gentle for you possibly and you want something a bit more meaty, horror themed to get your teeth into, definitely give this one a go. But I do think it should have a warning on it. I know it says contains violence and graphic imagery. That is not strong enough. For some of the things you do in this game, I think it needed a bit more. It's in stock now at Firestone Games.co.uk. Links are in the description below.